Hi, electroplating is a process of plating one metal onto another by hydrolysis. Why? Sometimes because of the appearance, it looks better, like gold. Sometimes it's just protect them from the rust. Um, it could be for the specific um, surface properties of that object, for example, conducting electricity or um, engineering or mechanical properties. But can we electroplate anything, any object? Well, as long as it's made out of metal, yes. Because it has to be a conductor of electricity. We are using a current electricity, electrolyte, anode and cathode to electroplate. Well, let's do it together. I will explain it step by step. By the way, I love the stores that sell tools, materials, and anything related to them. For me, it looks like a most women go to shops selling clothes and shoes. So tools for me, it brings same excitement. I know you guys, teenagers, most of you are not even excited about these shoppings. You are excited by your Wi-Fi and your devices. So the easiest co um, electroplating is the copper plating. It's so simple and easy and cheap as well. First, you need a copper sulfate because your electrolyte has to be the exact same as the type of metal you use for plating so we use copper therefore copper sulfate um, it's a powder I mix it with the water here it's better your solution to be saturated so why you dissolve until no more copper sulfate dissolve in the water um, different object I have to for plating here I have a spoon here it's already plated but well, I'm gonna try see if I can copper plate it a coin which is not copper like paper clip and wood yes Mm, it's not a metal, it's not a conductor of electricity, but I have bought this spray. They claim to be a metallic paint. I doubt it because it was so cheap, but I have painted the wood like this. We're gonna test it, see if it works or not. If not, if it didn't work, therefore means there wasn't a metallic paint. But it's possible to even get a fruit, use the metallic paint and copper plate it. Yes, fruits even. So let's start. What do we need is electricity. I'm using an old charger, phone charger. Um, cut the wires, remove the insulators. The positive one is going to be connected to the source of your metal, which is copper. And that's anode. The cathode negative will be connected to the metal that you want to coat it with the copper. Um, I didn't have pure copper or anything i'm using these pennies pennies are meant to be made out of copper it does look like copper but 100 percent sure this is not a pure copper how do i know that magnet and uh, is attracted by the magnet means because copper is not a ma magnetic metal therefore it has impurity which should be some cheap metal such as iron so let's start After a few seconds, I'm just going to take it out and check. Wow, you can see already the pin is coated by copper. The color is completely changed. So how this works is so simple. Electro, the copper inside the electrolyte is positive iron. It attracted to the negative, which is this side, and is depositing on your object. The copper that is leaving the solution is being replaced by your copper source which is this coin for us now this keep happening therefore the copper inside the electrolyte is being replaced is not being used fully but your anode which is the copper in this case will be used up so let's try with the spoon wow well don't touch it with your hand because i saw in the package here has these safety symbols it's harmful for human and harmful for environment if you haven't watched my safety lab safety videos go and watch it that was my first video you will learn more about safety don't panic because <laughs> right see it wasn't even long have a look look at the spoon it's coated well if you leave it longer it will get more layer of copper in them it's amazing it's copper 
obviously don't touch it like me um, now I'm gonna try a coin before you use the cutleries ask your parents if you are allowed to don't damage the spoons or forks I'm adult my mom had enough of telling me off so she gave up so let's have a look we just turn oh sorry well don't put your finger inside the solution it's hot as well right let's have a look let me hold this there here it already was coated but still we managed to coat it by copper it's cool isn't it if you want the other side as well attach the wire the other side and make sure everywhere has the same color let's see what happened to our anode here you can see on the surface the copper is dissolved so it started fading completely if I wash this properly you will see the metal underneath is revealed that is uh, iron I'll show you the better one I used earlier if I find it. yes here it was a 2p one you can see the part was inside the electrolyte completely lost its copper well hasn't been lost it's gone to the electrolyte and coated in the other object it's cool isn't it and that is iron definitely okay now it's time to reveal if the shop owner sold me the metallic paints or not make sure you when you connect it to the the wood connect to the part that is already painted please work please work please work nope nothing clearly the paint wasn't metallic paint but i should go and get a refund sorry that i didn't upload video earlier it's been very busy summer right thank you guys see you in the next video bye